we actually don't know when the prostate cancer starts because we're not monitoring the prostate. We may monitor a blood test, but remember the cancer is in the prostate. It's actually presumed that men have prostate cancer probably many years before they're actually diagnosed. And it may be very small, it may grow very slowly over a long period of time. They did a very interesting study in um, Detroit where they looked at the prostates of men in their 20s and 30s. And these were men who died. They died of other things. They died of, in car accidents or homicides or whatever younger men would normally die of. And so when they did that study, people said, why would you want to look in the prostates of younger men? That's not something that you'd expect to find something. But in fact, they found in a significant proportion of those patients, they found early changes of prostate cancer, which really suggests that this is a process that's a lifelong process. The problem with that is that we don't really know what causes prostate cancer. We, we have some ideas that maybe your diet and the genetics I talked about earlier, that your family history, and that certain lifestyle changes might matter. But the bottom line is it seems to be a process that begins relatively early in adulthood and ultimately may lead to cancer in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s uh, in a subset of those patients.